So tell me about your health journey. I know you had one and sort of how you healed and what happened. I would love to tell it. I think it pales in comparison to yours, quite honestly. I felt like you went through so much more. But, you know, mine was just a lot of what I'm seeing nowadays, you know, in young women as well is just the combination of being super stressed. I was in medical school, you know, I was going into residency. My eating was off. My sleep was off. I didn't know how to take care of myself. I didn't really know anything about my health, quite honestly. And all of a sudden just started getting what today I know are more inflammatory symptoms. But at that time I had no clue. Like I would have joint pain. I would, I was gaining weight and didn't understand why I had horrible acne. And then I started to lose hair and the hair loss became, you know, more and more progressive until it really crescendo and became something that everybody noticed. Like it wasn't where you could hide it anymore. And even though it was happening and even though it was so visible, I'm still, you know, when I look back, I still wonder, I still didn't really, I still wasn't motivated to figure it out. I think I was so in my head and just so determined to like power through and, you know, I've got to get to my shift and I've got to do this and I've got to do that, that I just thought this would go away and it would, it would just magically disappear. It just clues you in into how tiny things, tiny shifts, because ultimately it came down to food, quite honestly. It came down to, I needed to be gluten-free, my thyroid was shot, I needed iron, I needed B vitamins. And as long as I kind of stayed there, then even to this day, so many years later, I'm good, I feel pretty good and I'm healthy. The minute I fall off again, those signs come back. So yeah, I mean like the, you know, just the idea that tiny things can shift your health so dramatically was fascinating to me because in Western medicine, remember I was working in the emergency room and I, you know, I had ICU on the brain. I was going to go be an ICU doctor and all this other stuff. Those are heroic efforts. We do a lot, right? I mean, there's like 50 things to do at any one given time. And, I, and when you're sitting back and looking at this field of medicine, it's like, oh my gosh, tiny things shift the body so dramatically and affect so many different pathways. And it takes you away from hero medicine, kind of. It takes you more into like, okay, let's work with the body, not like jump in as like this savior that like we're gonna do 50,000 things and then get everybody to where they need to be.